The meeting with members of the Nigerian Canadian Association and the group from the Middle East is to access information from those who feel and know the stories of terrorism. The forum offered Nigeria's John Adeyefa and members of his group the opportunity to discuss the activities of Boko Haram and what can be done to curb the menace. Professor Jibo Fatali of the University of Ottawa and members of the Yesdi Human Rights Organization International talked about terrorism and its complex nature. The, the link between the different groups make it hard to fight them. Some groups are supported by states. You cannot defeat them easily. At around 2 a.m. on August 3, 2014, they attacked the Yesdis in Sinjar, which cost us thousands of innocent lives including beheading of hardness, abducting more than 7,000 mostly young Kumana children. These Kumana children presently being killed in Iraq and Syria in ISIS captivity. They are being used for sex slave. They are being bought and sold in market. Uh, their children, young boys, are being trained to be jihadists. The, the Islamic State militia, they killed the children and fed the mother with their children's flesh. So it's something unbelievable. But the problem until now, it has been almost nine months, no international community has taken like a serious action to destroy the Islamic State. What about the proliferation of weapons? Who are selling them? Who are producing them? We all know these are big countries. These are big nations. We want them to help in re-establishing villages that has been burned down to assist in infrastructure. As a member of uh, the G8, one of the leading countries of the G8, it's, um, it's, it's encouraging it's to note that Canada, you know, at least has this option. Did the informal group of Canadian parliamentarians get the information needed to protect civilians in these regions in accordance with the principles of the responsibility to protect? This is something that has been around for a while. We see the manifestations change and as we're hearing today alliances are changing. Uh, the one thing that we need to do, and I think where people were caught off guard, is how rapidly these groups can form, they can move, and they can uh, gain and hold uh, terrain. And so clearly the international community has to work together to uh, essentially coordinate our efforts and to stand up to the, this, um, you know, not only the, the phenomenon of terrorists, but also look at what are the motivations uh, what are some of the resources they're using and uh, to cut those off as well and to make sure that the people who are victimized are going to be uh, supported as well as we've heard. There's major refugee crises that have occurred either internally displaced or people have had to flee their countries um, and you know obviously that's important as well. The genocide prevention body currently has 53 official members with 60 parliamentarians who participate in events hosted by the group regularly. From the Canadian Parliament Hill, Joy Usiago, NTA News.